Hey guys, today we are next to Audi Q3 and I'm going to show you where's the OBD2 port and let me just do it. It's right over here. The purple thing that you can see right above the dead pedal is the OBD2 diagnostic port. And right now I'm going to show you where's the uh, cabin fuse box. So if you open this small compartment, which is over here on the left side, you can see that there are some fuses visible in the gap above the above the compartment but to access them you need to open this little bit wider so there are there are two restrictions one on the right side one on the left side and you need to squeeze them in order to open it wider and remove it and uh, only then you can access those uh, fuses so let me show you how to do it best to do it on both side, sides at the same time then pull it and it's removed and here we have it. Uh, there's a little um, the removal tool for you to use if you need to remove some fuses. And we have the smaller and the um, uh, larger ones. This is fuse number one in the upper left corner. 1 to 8, 9 to 16, 17 to 24. And that's 25, the uh, empty spot over here. And the list goes on. Actually, there are some small uh, numbers uh, just above each fuse. And most likely you are looking for fuses responsible for the uh, cigarette lighter, the 12 volt outlet in your car. So those two uh, yellow ones over here, 20 amps, are the one responsible for the uh, 12 volt uh, output, both in the center console and in the trunk. And there's an engine bay fuse box as well. There are two locks on both sides. You need to wrap them firmly and slide them towards you and only then you can lift up the plastic lid and you have access to those fuses. There's no description over here as well as um, in, the, in the cabin fuse box so you need your user manual to find the correct fuse and or, or you can use a multimeter just to check for the blown fuse. Okay, so to put it back, this one is uh, important because there's a seal over here, so you need to make sure that this is installed in the proper position, just to make sure that there's no water coming inside this, which would cause water damage and electrical issues with your car. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this short tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.